What's up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel! If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And we're excited to announce that we're back with another giveaway! Yay! So it's been a very long time since our last giveaway, and we know that we have a lot of K-pop fans here. Growing up, we always wanted to buy K-pop goodies, but we could never afford it, and our parents would never buy it for us. So we wanted to kind of be those unnies to buy it for you. So this is actually a Stray Kids tote. They were out of TXT, but the giveaway is TXT. Yes. So we know there's a TXT concert coming up soon. TXT light stick and the new TXT album. I believe there's photo cards in there that you can collect. Um, they all have their own unique photo cards, I believe. Some more photo cards. And then a photo card collecting little case with more photo cards inside. There's stickers. Mm. Then there's Yeonjin, Subin, and Pomgyu cards right here. So whether it's for the concert that's coming up soon or whether you're just a huge TXT fan, if you want to enter this giveaway, just make sure to check out our Instagram post. It's actually really simple. You just have to follow our Instagrams, Eunice Chimichanga, Shay Chimichanga, and Chimichanga Sisters, and just check out the post for even more specific details. So aside from this TXT giveaway, we're also going to do another giveaway, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. What a wonderful Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimichanga on our last mukbang. Big, big shout out to Vivilan, Vize Braimo, Harleen Ning, Refe and Faiza Fazla Sohili. Yay, thank you so much. Be sure to comment now for a shout out on the next mukbang. Comment right now. So today we're gonna have Peruvian food. It's our first time trying it on this channel. We got our favorite. This is uh, camarones de saltado. Saltado de camarones. Saltado de camarones. Yeah. So basically, this is a dish with rice, potatoes, red onions, tomatoes, and shrimp. The special sauce is absolutely delicious, and their green sauce. Their ahi sauce is like amazing. As you can see, we got a lot of these sauces, the ahi sauce. This is the holy grail. This, honestly, I wouldn't say makes the meal, but it like is a cherry on top of the meal. First we'll say grace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, jinx. Mm. Okay, choice of drink. Inca cola. I got horchata. Cheers, cheers. Mmm, all right, all right. I'm gonna get ready. So I'm gonna right take here. some of these sauces. I swear, no other restaurant I've tried can achieve the sauce, right? I mean, every ahi sauce has its own flavor and yeah. tastiness, but Mario's it's like spicy and on point. Mario's is only in LA, huh? I don't know actually, but if you're in the LA area, you've never tried Mario's before. Oh, it's so good. <gasps> There's always a long line. It's just amazing. Even their seasonings are on point. If you live in LA and you haven't tried Mario's, you might live under a rock. <laughs> Please try it. It's really good. Get that perfect bite. The rice, the shrimp. I love it because the shrimp is always the vein too. I know mm. a lot of people don't mind and they just eat it, but I don't know. I can't help but think that there's poop. If I see it, I mind. If I don't see it, I don't really care. Yeah, I always take out the poop. So good. Oh, the sauce. I love the tomatoes that they put in here. It's just so good. That was in the sauce. Mm. Mm. Their lomo sartado is actually really good too. It is. But I don't know. We grew up eating the camarón. Like it's so good. We just it's just soft. Per like personally, I just prefer like seafood. But do you prefer um steak over seafood? I usually like steak more. Mm. But their shrimp is really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's more expensive, but it's really good. They give you bread. Just put the hot sauce on there. When you dine in, they give you bread in the beginning with butter and this green sauce. So good. It's tempting not to just get full off of this before the food. And it's usually like hot and fresh. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. I love when they give you a plate and then there's a bread on the side. I love that. Mm. But definitely we want to try a Peruvian mukbang trying things that we never tried. 
in the culture. So comment down if you're Peruvian or if you know some Peruvian dishes you'd like us to try. I think that's the only thing Peruvian that we've tried, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah. Right? But they have a lot of menu items. I just um never tried it. I want to though. I'm afraid that I might like get something that may not fit my taste buds too, so just recommend this. Yeah, I'd rather hear your guys' recommendations because you guys never disappoint. Honestly, 99% mm -hmm. of the times, we enjoyed it. That's true. 1% is probably because I don't like vegetables or something, but <laughs> it was That's always true. good, your recommendations. That's true. Mm. And then when we order, we're like, someone told us that this is good and this gets like our friend, mm -hmm. like backup. I know, it feels like, like you belong. We know what's going on. One thing that makes this dish so delicious is like the mix of different textures. Like you have the softness with the french fries, but you also have that like grilled flavor, the smokiness, because you see all this black stuff on the tomatoes. And then the juiciness from the tomatoes and the crunch with the red onions. Oh, I think that's what makes the meal so that's good. That's true. Yeah. A good plate is when you have all different types of textures and all flavors coming into it in yeah. one bite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love when tomatoes are grilled. It's just like, oh, so good. Love tomatoes. I mean, this whole plate is kind of red. That's how seasoned it is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like smoky, salty. And the rice is so peppery. soft. Yeah, so I um I think they even like cooked it in broth or something, huh? That I don't know. I don't I don't taste any flavor from the rice, but it's just so soft. Mm -hmm. mm, actually, maybe, right? Maybe like not the flavor wise, but the texture is so soft. It had to be cooked in broth. Mm. It's it's so good. Mm. The thing about Mario's is their food always tastes the same. Mm -hmm. Consistency is key. It is. It really is. French fries and red onion. So spicy. That's a good spicy. On a comfy day at home, I'll just order a plate and I could eat this all day. Mm -hmm. right? It lasts like two meals. And my favorite part is like when all the seasoning from the fries and the, the tomato and stuff get onto your rice. Mm -hmm. Like it mixes in. So good. When the rice is mm. colored. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I would say the only downside to this restaurant is their parking. Mm hmm Parking and um, short staff. Mm. Mm. They're a little short staff, I think. Compared to how much traffic they get, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, when we got there, there was a line to write your name down. But they also have, like, COVID regulations still. Yeah, sure. Like, one person at a time go up and... Yeah, I mean, it would be great if they can expand. They're a really good place. Mm-hmm. I love ahi sauce so much. I used to make my own at home. She used to make it kind of similar, but it was not like this. But it was still really spicy. I don't know what they put in here. Like, actually comment down you guys' ahi recipe if you have one because I want to figure out what they put in here. Yes, comment down your recipe. It's who knows, maybe you guys can achieve what we can't. I know. But this sauce tastes good on like everything. Mm -hmm. Like I would eat it on my sandwich, my eggs. I make a quesadilla and dip it in there. Mm -hmm. Anything. Anything. Yeah, if we have leftover sauces, we tend to keep them. Mm -hmm. Never go in trash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just love how they use red onions, not like regular onions. Yeah. And I love it when all the oil from the sauteed part just goes all on the bottom on the rice. So good, all that oil. Orange rice from the grease and oil. Mm -hmm. that, that's the best part. So if you guys didn't watch last week's mukbang, my niece, her daughter, Mila, came on. So make sure to watch it because it's kind of chaotic, but it was really fun. It was like her first debut and we got so much love. So thank you guys so much for loving her. 
She's a very interesting baby, though. You guys will really grow to like her. She has a lot of personality. That's all I yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So much personality, and what you guys saw is only a fraction of what she usually does. So yeah, I'm so excited because I know that we're gonna have more content with her in the future. But comment down some ideas. Like, what would you guys want to see us do with her? Mm-hmm. I saw someone say 24 hours, but Auntie Shan. I was like, oh, I love. The I read that, that too. I read that. I was like, oh, I love the sound of that. I mean, of course, I don't mind that, but I'm kind of scared because I don't know how to handle a baby like that of her age. Have you ever changed anyone's diaper before? Um, you're gonna have to do that too. I think I have. I think I have. Yeah. Good luck. Mila does not stay still. She's at the age where she's like zipping and crawling and scratching and. Yeah, maybe when she's a little older, because I mean, I have trouble just trimming my cat's nails. But I think that's what they want to see—the chaotic side. Okay, like I don't know. Okay, fine. But um, I don't know about twenty-four hours. It's really scary, dude. What if she cries and like I don't know what to do? <laughs> but we are gonna move out. Like right now, our current living situation is we live with our family. Long story short, it kind of just ended up that way. But now it's time for us to all move out. You know, she has a family and I need my own space. My mom's going to go back and forth from Korea. So during that time, for sure, Mila can come over and sleep over and stuff. Maybe when she's a little older though, just so I know how to like, communicate with her. But we'll still be filming Mokang. <clears throat> but it won't look like this. Yeah, it'll that's what we're trying to say. It'll probably be at my place, if anything. So Mila is 11 months, but she will be turning one very, very soon, February 16th. Oh, yeah. Her first birthday is on the 18th. Yeah, in Korean tradition, first birthday is like the biggest birthday party. It's like the quinceanera or like yeah. the bar mitzvah, but for Korean culture. Mm -hmm. Because back in the day, babies didn't live to be one years old. Not even 100 days. That's why you see some Korean families doing 100 days yeah. celebration. That's because, mm -hmm. yeah, in Korean culture, babies didn't get to live that long. So it's like a celebration of life. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited. Maybe I'll record a little bit of clips. Yeah. Basically, there's gonna be Torjabi. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Oh, but yeah. We place different items in front of her and that's supposed to determine her future mm -hmm. or like her future career. So whatever she picks, there's usually like a stethoscope, a pen, money, like a bunch of little items that kind of determine your destiny. So whatever she picks, supposedly, that's the route that she's gonna take. It's actually really meaningful and symbolic. I'm so it excited. Is. It is. Like for me, um, do you remember what you picked up? Oh, you're gonna have four. Oh. <laughs> so when our parents had us, they were definitely struggling a lot, especially with four kids, like us two and then two of my sisters. So we didn't live a lavish life. And then they had a tour for me because I was like born 13 years later after my sisters. So. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, and then like, I whoa. came and they're like, yeah, we, we saw that already. I mean, by then they're like, <laughs> they already did three and they're like, you know, let's not waste money anymore. So she didn't have one, but I had one. I picked up a pencil. I don't know what that means, but I'm a great writer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we should talk about this thing that, you know, like, uh, everyone's always like, oh, the older siblings have so much trauma, they have to take on the role. Okay, but what about us younger siblings? We no. always get hand-me-downs, we have nothing new. Hey, young Everything is given to... Look, they didn't even think about my first birthday. They were like, we already had okay, first, first of all, birthdays. First of all, you're the last child. Last child gets the most attention and the first child. I'm a middle mm -hmm. child. Middle child's the neglected one. Yeah, our parents are really struggling. Like, they didn't have a wedding. They didn't have a wedding ring. They had no money, actually. But they were really smart about it. They, they were... put that money towards the house. And mm -hmm. look, they flipped it and they made a lot of money. First birthday. She's also going to have a smash cake. I don't know if you guys have it in your cultures, but she gets to try a cake for the first time just like... All to herself. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, if you guys saw our mukbang, Mila's already so wild. <laughs> With all that sugar, she is very wild. GG. But I felt so much better reading the comments saying that a lot of their kids are like that too. Oh, I know, because she was a little <laughs> like, why is my kid so uh, <laughs> I was like, crazy? <laughs> I was kind of nervous, but you know, a lot of you guys are telling me that your kid behaves the same, so I'm kind of really, <laughs> you know, kids will be kids. She's right? a baby. Yeah, she's very active, she's very vocal, very expressive, which is a good thing. It would be scary if she wasn't, you know? True. I wouldn't want it the other way around, I guess. Yeah, it would be a little worrisome. But yeah, our mom was saying the other day, like, I don't know who she turned out to, but like, she's like kind of like the odd one in the family. <laughs> you know? Yeah, mom was like, who is she? Like, she's not like her mom, she's not like her dad. Supposedly, I was a very calm baby. Mm -hmm. I don't have any recollections of that, but... If anything, I was a very active baby. She said I was very calm, so it's really weird seeing Mila. Maybe Angel? I don't know. No, Angel's really calm, dude. I don't know, what do you guys 
think determines the personality of a baby. I know. But someone said she looks like me. <laughs> Honestly, I get happy when they say you do because I know you're pretty. I'm like, oh, you're pretty too, but I know, but I get I, I get excited. I'm like, especially when they say she looks like oh my, I get I take that as a major yeah. compliment because. I really think my mom is so beautiful. Yeah, you should have seen our mom back in the day. She was hot. Like, growing up, we always were like, damn, like, mom is so pretty. I want to look like mom when we grow up. Like, I always thought that. I'm so sorry, Appa, but every flaw we have is not from my mom. <laughs> it's not from my dad. But my, my dad is really talented. He's charismatic. He's charismatic, know? yeah. He has the personality. That is different from the standard beauty, though. Right? It, is, it is, it is. Yeah. I look at their pictures back then, I'm like, dad, how do you get her? <laughs> I know how, though. It's just charisma. He has personality. He's really funny too. Because my dad was one of those marine boys. You know, my mom's into them UDTs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was he was kind of like the bad boy, strong boy. I remember when I used to hear like our older sister's um, friends think mom was hot. No way. Yeah. See, I'm, we're at the age where our friends can't think mom is hot. Because she's like much older now. Yeah. But back then she used to have long hair. I remember I used to hear that and be like, oh my god, like what if like... My dad's not gonna like that. Oh, you just <laughs> I used that? to think that, yeah, but my dad would just laugh. Damn, you have that kind of memory? Mm-hmm. I remember. That is so cute. I'm like, why are they saying that? She's married. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> I was like, you four. were threatened by these little kids. I was threatened. I was like, dude, don't. That's so disrespectful to my dad. You're gonna break up the family. <laughs> <laughs> but not that I'm older, I'm just like, oh. Hello, my princess. Mila. Oh, really? Wow. What's that? What's that? Hi! Uh-oh. Hi! Say hi! Hi! Wow! Oh, she wants to move. She's like, let me go. Yeah, she doesn't like to be in like one place. Yeah, she definitely likes. Oh, she's going for my phone. Long. She's going for my phone. Come here. Ah. 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 She's <laughs> like, she's like, let me go. <laughs> See, she wants, to, she wants to do her own thing. Yeah, you guys, I don't know how we got the last episode with her. <laughs> she was pretty good for last. Right. Episode, yeah. Appa. <gasps> yeah, I'm calling up on you. She, was, she wants to go out now. Oh, oh. hey, that's my food, man. Oh, your dad is here. Appa. <laughs> I just walks out of here nonchalantly. I'm full. Same. You just for dinner. Okay, guys, we're gonna end this over here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell. Ding. If you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and follow our TikTok account, join Instagram account, and make sure to check out our Instagram posts for details on the giveaway. And we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you guys then. Bye bye.